What's up, y'all? Coach Arch here with Forever Young Films, and this is a special Christmas episode of The Recap. Let's get active. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for tapping into this special Christmas edition of The Recap. It is Christmas Eve, so Santa is coming to town. <laughs> Um, also, Christmas Eve means that it is my birthday. Yes, it is my birthday. Uh, thank you all that knew, that sent me messages and, and gifs, gifs, I don't, I don't know, you know, the GI, whatever. Everybody that sent me something, thank you, thank you. I'm so appreciative you guys continue to um, support what I'm doing and show that you are concerned about my well-being, and I am extremely Grateful. For those that did not know that it was my birthday, I am turning 25 years old today. Yes, 25. And yes, again, I'm not sure how the Lord worked it out with me, but every year I seem to continue to turn 25. So next year I'll probably be 25 again. So um, thank you for the birthday wishes. If you would like to get me something, please donate to the Children's Heart Foundation. They really do a good job of supporting families uh, with children that are born with congenial heart defects. If y'all didn't know, my oldest daughter, Gabby, um, she was born with hyperplastic left heart syndrome and had to go through a series of open heart surgeries. It was extremely tough on us. So this uh, cause is really near and dear to our hearts pun intended. So that's childrensheartfoundation.org. You can donate there. They really do some good work. And now that that's out of the way, we on this edition of the recap, we have four games to get to. We have two non-district games, and then we have two games where there were district season openers. Okay, so let's get the clips rolling and let's get active. All right, first up, we have Clear Lake taking on Klein Collins. Klein Collins got their football players back, but in the beginning, the defense of Clear Lake made a statement. Uh, Aiden Wood right there with the steal and the score. Um, Klein Collins had to kind of settle in the game. Right here, you see them starting to shoot the gaps in the zone. There's a thick pin, easy dunk. Here's um, uh, Ethan Wyatt three. Uh, once they settled in, the game kind of got exciting. You had uh, a game of runs. Clear Lake would go on a run, and then uh, Klein Collins would counter with the run of their own and you could kind of see the two coaches kind of um, playing ch a, ch a chess match almost um, so it was really really inter interesting to watch right here Von Wells of Clear Lake really really played well he ended up with 21 points big pin right there again with another dunk for Klein Collins in the second half you start to see the emergence of Alex Lee from Clear Lake he is signed to Williams College he really really scored the ball effectively um, in the second half, he ended the game with 23 points. Here you go, right there. Easy, get past the defense, get you an easy shot around that free throw line. There's Von Wells, as we mentioned before. Um, Klein Collins kept it close. And right here at the end, this was something interesting from Coach Tom Penders. He ends up fouling and Clear Lake is up by four. His strategy worked, they won by four. Clear Lake, 69, Klein Collins, 65. All right, next, you have Pearland High School, who's really been playing well on the road in a district matchup against Strake Jesuit. Strake Jesuit came out on fire. They ended up going on a 7-0 run, thanks in large part to Jason Posey, who you see here hitting the three. Forced the timeout by Pearland, and when Pearland came back on the floor, they made it intentional. Work Cam Love Adams in the paint. He did whatever he wanted, and that is against a really, really good defensive big in 2023, Drayton the Diesel Jones. I mean, he's a tremendous defender, and Cam Love Adams was just still effective against them, okay? Now, as the game progressed, Pearland takes the lead, thanks in large part to their defense. Their 2-3 zone, they were able to extend it out to be able to guard the perimeter. They were able to pack it in a stop straight from getting really, really good looks. So this was a low-scoring game. Both teams really, really played well defensively. Um, but at the end of the day, Pearland just had a little bit too much in the second half, and they end up with the win. All right, next, we head to Katy for another district opener. This time, we have Seven Lakes going up against a young Morton Ranch team. Uh, really not that good of a matchup for this young Morton Ranch team. I mean, they're really, really talented, but 
Um, Seven Lakes have a lot of veteran leadership right here. Welcome back, Noah Samiski. I mean, can really shoot the leather off the ball, and he did precisely that in the first half of this one. Uh, Morton Ranch really, really played hard, and like I said, they have a lot of sophomores, a couple of juniors. Here's one of their seniors um, that contributes for them. So they are really, really good, but they just need to figure out how to win. They need a little bit more um, uh, game experience under their belt. So I think they are gonna really, really be good next year. They're really, really talented. There goes Richard Massey of uh, Mort Ranch going in for the layup. Here's the youngster for Seven Lakes, AJ Bates. If you know anything about me, you know that I've really, really uh, been on his bandwagon. But here in the second half, we picking it up. Big Josh going in for the dunk. He's countered by one of the youngsters, Jaden Jones from Mort Ranch coming back, getting him a dunk. But just not enough for Big Josh. He, I mean, he had a really, really good game. Tahat Davis had a really, really good game. There you go, see him hanging in the air, getting an acrobatic layup. And um, at the end of the day, here's one of the youngsters from Morton Ranch, Corey Johnson. He played a hell of a game, but just not enough. Seven Lakes rolls by 15. All right, next, non-district matchup, St. Thomas Catholic taking on Episcopal. St. Thomas um, Catholic started the game off in emphatic fashion with a Jake Pike dunk, and then Episcopal got it rolling. Here you see Jaden Holt. He's a freshman for Episcopal knocking down the corner three. Um, Episcopal will go on to score the next 10 points and that margin would prove to be too much for St. Thomas to come back from even though they tried. They started the game out in a zone. It really wasn't working for them. Episcopal was getting some really, really good looks. And so one of the great things about being a great coach is you have to be able to adjust on the fly. That's what he did. He extended their defense. They started playing with active hands, playing full court, keeping the ball in front of them. And it allowed them to get easy shots, which got them back in the game. But here we go. Second half, Jaden Hope passing it to Jaquil. And he, Jaquil is a 2024 from the pistol. I, I just, I love watching this young man play inside, outside, athletic. Um, so although um, St. Thomas got really good games from their young guys, Evan Levy and, and Jace Jeffries, it was just too much Episcopal. Right here at the end of the game, Brendan Mawam before Episcopal closing things out. I mean, he was brilliant scoring towards the end. Thank you, Jaquil, for not getting that dunk and winning with grace. Episcopal, 66, St. Thomas, 55. All right, that is it for this very special, very Christmassy special edition of the recap. Um, I'm hoping that y'all enjoyed it. I'm hoping that y'all are still in the giving mood and y'all can give me a thumbs up. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Uh, your opinions do matter. I do read them and I do take them into consideration. So help me to become better and so that I can better serve y'all, all right? Next week is another busy week for us. We'll be out at the Vibe Hoops Tournament. Um, also, we will be at the Conroe Tournament. And finally, we will be at the um, Houston Private School Classic, which is out at Second Baptist. So if you would like film, please email. Never hesitate to email. Um, you know where we'll be next week. If you have a team plan and you need film, please let me know. Uh, also, if you want to um, hear about any of the packages that I provide, any of the services that I provide to help further assist you in your recruitment process, please send an email. There is no obligation um, and nothing beats a failure but a try. So just ask me. Hopefully I can do something to help. That is one of the primary goals. And I just wanted to reiterate, film is really, really important. Y'all have seen that uh, COVID has spiked again in our nation and um, with that comes restrictions on travel, restrictions on what uh, coaches are able to do. So film is really, really important. So never hesitate to contact me about film. I, I'm always trying to work for you guys, okay? Also, I work closely with a couple of um, um, organizations that also help and assist with recruitment. So if you have any questions about them, again, there's no obligations. Ask me, I can give you all of the information that I can. And if you want to get in touch with them, I can provide you with the contact information and um, we will leave it at that. Okay. So 
Please have a safe, safe, Merry Christmas. Please be blessed. Uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm not ashamed of what I believe in. So uh, please remember the reason for the season and uh, try to carry that over into next week, man. Maybe we'll all be a little bit better for it. All right. So my name is Coach Arch. This is Forever Young Films, and I will see y'all in the gym. Dulce.